Howdy guys, coming at you live from my bedroom. <laughs> it's a great place to be. Uh, kids are screaming at the door. My phone's literally sitting on a stack of laundry that I'm working on so they'll, I can do this video real fast. I know I haven't updated in quite a while, I apologize. Life has been very hectic and I don't really know how to explain it other than I just feel like the more I try to get myself out of a hole, the deeper my hole gets. And I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be teaching me in life right now, but it's very stressful. Um, and we are also newly pregnant with baby number three. And that's stressing me out because I'm trying to figure out how we're going to afford everything and uh, how I'm going to manage three kids when the ones I have are already driving me crazy. Basically, the first one's super easy, second one is the little devil, and that's exactly what he was for Halloween this year. I had him be a little devil horns and all, because he literally is, he's not quite two yet, but he's getting into literally everything. He gets all my cupboards open, he gets the drawers open, just caught him with a knife like five minutes ago, so it's like, I don't know if I can do this. And most of you know I work third shift, so when I work, I sleep during the day, and or try to. I don't really get much quality sleep with them too running around like hooligans, but I basically sleep with what I open and listen to all the chaos unfolding around me and I have to get up multiple times to either find out what they're getting into or kiss some boo-boos or refill the drinks and all that stuff. So I'm trying to imagine how I'm going to do that with three. And God help me if the third one is as bad as the second one because he is keeping me on my toes and I feel like I'm drowning and I just, I can't get ahead of life. You know, it just keeps throwing me more things, more things. Um, we just got done with Halloween, like I said. So it's kind of a depressing part of the year anyways. Like everything outside is dying and it's getting cold and rainy. I'm stuck in the house all the time. You know, it's just, I just can't seem to keep up with everything. Um, my cat that I've had for the last 13 years, well, almost 13 years, isn't doing so well. She keeps hiding from me. She hasn't been eating in the last few days. Very, very skinny now. And you can tell that her health is declining. And we basically have our kitty hospice just waiting for her to finally pass. Which, you know, it's like I'm... I'm unusually calm about death because I see it just as a process of life. I think it's because of my spiritual beliefs. I don't believe that, you know, it's the end. Granted, I know it'll be hard and I'll cry my eyes out when it finally happens because, you know, she's been through every large milestone in my life. And I've been with that cat longer than I've been with the man I've been with for 13 years. So, actually, she'll be 14 this year. So, she is 13. Sorry. My math is not working in my head too fast today um I just I can't imagine my life without her because she's literally been with me since I've been on my own since I was 17 years old I was there when she was born I watched her come into the world so I'm hoping I can be here when she leaves this world um as many of you pagan community people know um tiptoe chick Dolores D whatever you want to call her she just passed away a few days ago um, even it's weird because like I never actually met her in life in person so it's weird to be as you know shooken by the passing of somebody I don't know personally like it's kind of right up there with Robin Williams like it was really hard when he passed too I think it's because I grew up with him you know in all of his movies he did and like you kind of feel like you know a person after you watch them for so many years and she's one of those people that I've watched for years and years I'm not going to say she was really one that started me in the craft because I was already well on my way by then, but, you know, it was kind of nice just to watch her and confirm my own beliefs with what she believed. Like, some things we didn't see eye to eye on, but the um, majority of it was pretty spot on, and the depth of her spiritual connection to things was pretty um, similar to my own. You know, I kind of felt bad because I feel like towards the end of her life there, at least from as far as I could tell, she was having a lot of personal struggles, a lot of relationship issues, and, you know, I wish I could have seen her come back from that, but I don't know really where she was at with life at that point. 
And, you know, it makes me sad to think that, you know, her children have to go out without her because I can't imagine my kids going out without me. But I'm so grateful that they're leaving her videos up so her kids can have something to watch to learn who their mother was and why she was such an inspiration to so many people. The only thing I really have from her is when she had a green eyed owl shop, I got the migraine ease because that's the one thing I suffer with is my migraines. And I'm actually kind of considering turning this into a candle so every time I can light her candle, you know, she she made this. It was in her hands at some point, you know, so that's why I kind of try to remember, you know, that was her big thing. Like she was all about the herbals and helping people, you know, and I like to remember her as that. And so this whole past week, I've been kind of rewatching videos of hers that I've watched m numerous times before and just trying to remember her life and... And I've been keeping up with the updates from her sister and her daughter got on, the, on there today. Um, they're going to have a memorial for her. I think she said it was Sunday. And they're going to stream it live. So I'm way up in Michigan, so I'm not going to be able to go in person. But it, it'd be nice to be included. And I thought it was really nice to the family. They're being very considerate to her fans and, you know, her following. So um, it makes me feel a little better. <sighs> so... You know, besides all that dark, gloomy stuff, you know, like I said, life's been kind of rough for me. I just feel like I'm digging and digging out of this hole and I can't get out of. And, you know, it's hard to see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, when you're having as many stressful issues as you are and like, I can't stop thinking of the future of, you know, I'm going to have another baby on my hands and, um... You know, the way our system's set up, maternity leave is rough because you either don't get barely any money, because I do pay um, into a system where they do, they're do they supposed to pay you maternity leave, but it's only a fraction of what you make. I think it's only, I don't remember what it was, 7% of what you normally get, something ridiculously small. You can't even live on that. And then last time I was pregnant, they didn't even pay me a penny until six weeks after when I had to return to work. Then they finally decided that they could pay me my maternity leave. So that's a month and a half without any paycheck. So, you know, I'm worried about that. Um, just normal stuff, bills, you know, trying to keep food on the table. The kids are finally eating food, so I feel like we're constantly out of food. And, you know, I think this is probably the most I've struggled financially in my life. And... You know, it's not for lack of working. I work full time, 12 hour shifts. It's just, I just, I don't know. I just can't seem to find the end of this tunnel. You know, I keep thinking, you know, if I could just pay off my last loan for my retirement that I took out years ago, that then I could reborrow against that and they could help get me out of the debt I'm in. in. I did pay off a lot of my debt this winter, this past winter with our taxes so that helps a little bit but you know I still have a big chunk a lot of it went to medical bills from having the last baby so I'm worried about you know the bills coming with this new baby um, my health insurance got changed and they basically gave us only one option so it's the crappy option but it's bad or nothing and I'd rather not have nothing but huge deductibles I gotta pay you know close to forty dollars for every single doctor visit I go to on top of an initial $35 copay just to pay my deductible like it's just just stupid things like that you know it's and I'm worried I'm worried about a lot of it but I'm just trying to plug through like everybody else in the world does like I keep hoping that you know within any year's time I'll look back on this and think it was silly you know I'm hoping hoping some miracle happens somehow things pull us through uh, Feel like I can never get caught up in laundry, which, which is what I'm working on right now because I have to go to work in a few hours and the man's complaining about not having uniforms and socks and you know that kind of stuff. But I feel like all I do is laundry and dishes and pick up the same toys over and over again. And you know, the children like to tear all the cushions off the couch and dump out their whole toy box, and it's a nightmare for a person with OCD like myself. So it's just been really, it's been really hard the last few months. I've just been really really all over the place and I hate being like that I hate not being in control of things and knowing exactly what's going to happen and how to do things or how I'm going to you know proceed 
I just feel like there's a lot of unknown and I just, I don't like the uncertainty. So, I don't know. There really wasn't much of a purpose to this. I just wanted to update you on life and know that I'm still around. I'm just really in a bad place right now and trying to get to the other side, trying to work through things. You know, holidays are coming up, which is stressful. Um, Parker's birthday's Monday. He'll be four. So I got to plan a birthday party and, you know, Thanksgiving, trying to figure out when we're going to do that because family conflict of schedules doesn't seem to be working out and uh, it's just never ending, never ending chaos and struggle. So I'll cut this off. I know it's kind of a long video, but I'm just letting you know I'm here, you know, I'm plugging on, plugging through, trying to pull through, hanging on, trying to just deal with life. Like I'm sure most of you are, you know, everyone's got their crap and when you get through that crap, there'll be more other crap. So I'm trying to just stick it out. I'll talk to you guys later, hopefully with a better video with an actual topic next time. Bye.